I know you guys absolutely love pops and bangs. <laughs> Um, yes, so my daily 9 to 5 job, which I don't really share much about on this channel, they've now let me go as a result of the happenings in the world at the moment. So, that's happened today, um, so I've been spending the rest of the day with my dad and a group of about 25 nobles, the Noble M12 GTO and M400, and we did a track day learning the limits of the car, had a great session in his one. surpassed it. There it goes. <laughs> I knew so I was getting doing so well. I was getting close to the limit. I thought <laughs> I'll keep going and hopefully I can correct it myself. Yeah. Yeah, family. Yeah. There's a finale for them. <laughs> and as ever this video is brought to you by Cardo.com, the free online car show directory where you can find out about all these shows that I go to. Love it. Uh, so that was my way of uh, getting over the uh, redundancy. So uh, another way is to join a car meet. So I'm heading off to a Vamps evening meet. That's um, my next activity for the day. And today I'm also wearing my new Lord's timepiece. And as ever, you can get 10% off using Adam10 as a discount code on lordtimepieces.com. So I've got a short journey ahead. We're going to Farnborough today. Uh, so I will catch up with you when I'm a little bit closer. So I am just about to enter the meet now. I think once I'm in there, I'm gonna put my roof up as much as I like having it down. Oh, it's over there. Um, as much as I like having it down, I can see a gray cloud above us. So I think the meet was meant to be in this Asda car park, but I've just seen people in another car park, so I presume they weren't allowed to be in this Asda car park. But it's okay, because I prefer the other car park. You might recognize it from when it snowed and everyone went sideways. That was fun, good times, good times. So here we are, we enter through a tunnel, so we get to make a few noises, maybe even a splash of neons on the car as well. Oh look, some golfs, do you reckon they like making noises too? Let's have a look around. So I've parked up behind me. All the meat is visible there. We've got the road here for cars coming in. There are a lot of 80s wagons that we can look at. Someone's getting very horny over there. I mean, it looks awful with the roof up, but that grey cloud over there looks awful just as much. I mean, he's probably going to have the same idea. Motor bicycle, doing motor bicycle things. Okay, we've got a convoy coming in here. We've got an E36 Touring, followed by a Mini. And an E46 Touring and another E36. Oh, we've got a lot of tasty saloon cars, even a Rolls Royce. And this Mark II MX-5 has a rubber ducky on the aerial. He's like a secret agent. But along here is the section that I'm more interested in. These are the Volvo wagons. We've got a 740 GL, a 240, and a 240 GL. I mean, I don't know how the names and criteria match. I mean, there's another Volvo over there. And of course, the 1600 Mark II Escort alongside a Hillman Imp that's rolling in. Someone's being noisy. Oh, it's a Corsa. Of course it is. I think it's time for a sticker showcase. On tonight's sticker showcase, we've got Strictly Swede, Need for Swede, and an upside down IKEA logo. And further along the line, we've got the E36 Touring and another Volvo Estate. This one has clear rear lights and some very nice rims. There's an E92 trying to get sideways around the roundabout. It's quite a wide roundabout. I've just noticed the yellow tints on this Ford Galaxy. He's got the corner exit exhaust pipes, the holes in his bumper for added 
wholeness. I think you just got a bit trigger happy with the um, the circular drill. Oh, right. There's one seat inside here. The only bit of unnecessary weight is the waving cat. Um, that's that's just bizarre. He's even got an R32 badge on the front, which is uh, mm, suspicious. I have spied yet another Volvo wagon. Is it bring your Volvo to show day today? Oh, he got scared by that. I think that was the Volvo. <laughs> So we now have a lineup of one, two, three, four, five, six Volvo wagons today. This one in particular is a quite a loud one with flames shot from the back. I really hope this becomes a new trend to see Volvos at shows everywhere. It's far more preferable for me. I've also noticed that this TT is very diesel. And so far the largest spoiler of the day award goes to the 740 GL. I actually had this very spoiler on my 350Z and I found it produced too much downforce so I had to remove it. Oh, what do you know, another Volvo wagon. This one a little bit more modern than the other ones. I mean, we really can't ignore the Starlet, the Mercedes 190E, and even this Corolla here with the gold wheels. And then further along, you've got this gorgeous Volkswagen sat ridiculously low on its Audi branded wheels, and an engine bay you could eat a fish off. It's got the Tartan Recaros, he's got the period automatic gearbox, and a bit of air. So earlier we saw a car with an owner who was very trigger happy with the circular drill. Um, the same can also be said for this Fiesta. He's also got a, a spark brown bonnet and sparkly brown wing mirrors and uh, a really nice Subaru wagon in baby blue with some cream wheels setting it off nicely. Now I really like cars who don't take themselves too seriously and that's why I've got neons on mine and this Peugeot is certainly one of them. He's got the Ghostbusters logo on the side. Yeah he definitely knows what he is a fan of. The Land Rover is using some forestation to hold its bonnet up to show off its turbo. I'm thinking turbo diesel? Just, just a thought. So the meter's pretty much at capacity and there's yet so more to look at. We've even got an overflow car park over there. Now I don't want to jump the gun and call it a Cosworth, but it's pretty mental. It could be one of those replicas. Either way, it looks cool. We'll find out in a bit. I'm going to say not genuine, but I really like that. So first we had the Escort Cosworth replica and now we've got brave wheels on this Escort. When I asked for Escorts this is not what I expected. I am standing right above death. Noises. I have spotted an R34 and an E92 in blue. C63 is doing C63 things and sounding exactly like every other C63. Talking Mercedes, this E-Class looks a little bit gangster. Black on black, he needs to tint his headlights to fit in. Whooshing around the corner, listening to his banging tunes. What's that coming over the hill? It's a police car. It's a police car. He's taken his splitter off for weight saving purposes. It's an E36 Ute. He's going to try and squeeze his butt into that gap. So he has dug up the decking from his back garden. He's plonked it down in the lovely coloured Ute. There's a sticker showcase coming up. He's got three likes, which is not really anything to shout about. There's a um, K Nord, Nord? Nord gear stick and some air freshness for the freshening of his air. And talking of air, it is on it. He's so sad. Why so sad? Ooh. That's what the I8 sounds like. Lovely. Bring Neons back! Oh no! One of the Volvos is leaving. By the legend that is the Volvo. So there's three things that are happening. Either someone is running rich, or they're having a bonfire, or they're on fire. Um, not a lot of people seem to be interested. I mean, I could go over there. Oh, it's the Subaru. He's shooting flames. That's what it is. He has a flame kit. Subaru is coming up. He flames as well. What is going on? Oh my god. Skyline is also shooting flames. The sun is setting in a very peaceful and beautiful way. Let's wander over to the skyline. I have no grip on these shoes. I've also got a beetle who's turned up next to the Volvo crew. A lovely old Jetta in yellow. It is a very 80s evening tonight. The Volvos are the stars of the show. I believe this one has some interior neons which have been brought back. It's got the twin exhausts. <laughs> this one from earlier. I'm going to go up the hill and get it. It's turbocharged as well. It 
takes the Volvo. It's lovely E30 Touring. Sounds like it's got quite a modern engine in it. But I think it's got to that time of the evening to watch cars leave, which will be in a second video as ever. So I'm going to go to the exit and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. So we fast forwarded a few hours, or maybe even just one hour, the police have turned up, we've got sirens, we've got Volvos leaving, I reckon we've all been told to leave so I need to go to my car and depart the, the, the meet, uh, that's, that's kind of what happened. Um, not the Volvo, I think he's safe, I think he's safe. So there's a combo of cars leaving, the policeman wants to get involved, he is Loving it, so I need to make sure oh, I don't slip. Oh, oh. I mean, it's a Friday night, he's putting some new wheels on. Um, yes, I forgot that rule. E36s are leaving together, the Lexus wafting off. Adam. All yes, right, sir. so the police are recommending that we move on, I reckon. So, uh, yeah, I don't really want to, you know, get ticketed for enjoying my hobby. Do I have time to put the roof down? Shall I not put the neons on? Best yeah, it would be very irresponsible to rev right now. So I've moved the car. I reckon people have started leaving to go home, but others have gone into that car park and had like a, uh, a post-meet meet. I did see a few people roaming around there, including some policemen. Um, cars are still leaving here. I'm parked up there with the roof down because it's still warm. Oh. It sounds like a Civic. I'm presuming the policeman have gone, and that's why he's doing the revolution. Oh no, someone's chicken has lost its leg. But seeing as a lot of people have left, I'm going to go home too, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Shame I got shut down a little bit too early, but check out the leaving video, I'll be uploading that soon. Keep an eye out for that, keep subscribed, and follow me on Instagram too for all the updates about these shows that I go to. But for now, thanks for watching.